Well, hey guys, welcome to our channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I am Jeff Edmiston. This is my business partner, Ruthie Buck. We are local Virginia real estate agents and we put out a new video, a video every week about living in Fredericksburg. So you should tap that subscribe button while you're here now so you never miss a video. And because we are local Virginia real estate agents, as much as we like making these videos, we like even more helping you with your real estate needs. So if you have any questions at all about living, working, playing here, or real estate in general, give us a call, shoot us a text, and we will get right back to you. So let's get into today's video. This one's gonna be a fun one. This is 10 things that you need to know about living in Fredericksburg, and really it's kind of fun because it's insider secrets. Mm -hmm. You know, it's things that if you aren't here, you, you probably don't know about. You're not gonna find out about it by just rolling into town for a day or so. You're not gonna know about some of the places or things that we're getting ready to talk about. So that's why it is local insider secrets. Once you get here, there are going to be things that you will want to know about because it just makes life great, you know, great here. Uh, so we're going to go through 10 things, just tell you a little bit about those insider secrets, and let's get into this video. Well, I like food. So. <laughs> don't, don't we all? <laughs> so let's talk about one of the more unique places to eat, and that's foodie. Um, it is um, a unique restaurant and it, it's one that also offers um, a great brunch um, and dinner that offers vegetarian style meals as well. Um, but it's downtown, um, yeah, great place to eat. Yeah, it's on Princess Anne Street. It, 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 Ruthie's right, it's a very trendy restaurant, uh, very popular with the locals. In fact, if you go in there and you look around, you're going to recognize pretty quickly that most of the people in there are local people. It's not, they don't do a bunch of big flashy advertising, so tourists, you know, find it very easily. But it is on Princess Anne Street, mm -hmm. so, you know, you can see it if you happen to be walking down the street, it's, it's obvious that it's there. But they've got a neat little patio as well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so you can, right. you can sit outside and dine, and especially on a warm, sunny day, like we get a lot here in the summer yeah. in Fredericksburg, and just, just people watch, which happens to be one of my favorite things to do. Um, if you go, probably my recommendation to you would be the fried chicken sandwich, which is really, really good. But foodie on Princess Anne Street. So the second ins insider secret is the best hiking trail. Now there are a lot of them around, a lot of them. You can go to any of the national battlefield parks. They have great, great trails. But our local insider secret favorite is a combination of the Rappahannock River Heritage Trail and the Canal Path Trail. They come together to form a three mile loop that runs basically inside the city of Fredericksburg. Mm -hmm. Really cool place to go, right? Yeah, the canal path is like my absolute favorite because it's just such a calming, um, it's a pretty walk because you're walking along the river for a lot of it. Um, so it's just beautiful. I mean, it's on any, uh, several times when I've been walking, I've seen like a family, a fox family across the water up in the hillside or um, you definitely see eagles. You just see a lot of nature. Yeah, and it's, it's a really neat uh, three mile loop because Ruthie's right, you have some, some of the, probably the best views of the river in Fredericksburg are along this trail. But then you, you cut away from the river, you go by the botanical garden and you're a botanical park and you're, you're walking by the old canal. It's just, and you get into the woods and it's nice and quiet. You walk past the dog park. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a really, really cool walk. And it's very popular in Fredericksburg. Uh, you'll see people riding their bikes. Be careful if you hear a bell, get out oh, of the way. yeah, move to the right, because they will take you out. <laughs> they will run you over. <laughs> but you, you have popular for people biking, walking, running, walking their dogs, kids, just a great, great place and definitely uh, an insider secret and one of our favorites. So one of the best happy hour deals that we have is Vivify Burger, and I know you've been there, so. Yeah, Vivify is, is one of my favorites. It's, uh, it's downtown, it's on William Street. They also have a rooftop, rooftop dining area that's pretty cool. And you don't have the best view from the rooftop, but it's still pretty cool to be out, especially at night, be out under the stars. But they, every Wednesday through Friday, four to seven, they have a happy hour deal. And it's fabulous, one of my favorite. If you want a good burger, a good craft beer, Vivify Burger is where you want to go. Again, Vivify is on William Street in downtown Fredericksburg. Our next insider tip is the best shopping venue. Now this one's a little, little well, it's really unique because someone who is not from here is not gonna happen across this. This is Liberty Town Arts Workshop. So it's downtown Fredericksburg, right off of William Street. I forget the actual street that it's on, but it's right off of William Street. And a lot of local artists and craftsmen 
um, do, do their craft here and they sell their craft here, it's a great place to go and buy something in the shop that is going to be totally unique. It's, if you're looking for something different for somebody that's from Fredericksburg, you want to support a local artist or craftsman, Liberty Town Arts Workshop is the place you want to go. You can get pottery, uh, paintings, crafts, woodworks, some, some pretty, pretty cool, pretty unique stuff there. And once you're exhausted from shopping, you can head on over to, I think, one of the best places to relax is Massage MB. I actually love Massage MB and have a membership there because, I mean, who wouldn't want a massage? Um, it's in Fredericksburg. It's over in the Central Park area, um, but it's a great place to massage. I'm even on their, um, their call list when somebody cancels so I can try and get in even on times so when I'm not scheduled. <laughs> uh, you know, it's in interesting. You said, who wouldn't want a massage? Do you know I have never had oh. a massage? <laughs> Gosh, that should be a sin. Now, now I've, I've bought a lot of gift certificates to Massage Envy, but I personally have never had a massage. Oh, I love it. Everybody that I know who goes there absolutely loves it. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the best places to take your kids is going to be Old Mill Park. Um, it's a great park. There's a lot to do there. It's really pretty. And the canal path actually passes through there as well. Yep, um, they've, I, they've got great restrooms there. <laughs> when you're in that three-mile walk and need to stop. Um, so Old Mill Park is it's downtown. Um. Yeah. So Ruthie and I kind of struggle with the answer to this question because I know one of our personal favorites is Alum Springs. Mm. But I think why we give the nod to this for the best place to take your kids is it's big, wide open space. But you know, much more space there for the kids than at Alum Springs. They've got a playground, and the mm -hmm. view of the river is fabulous as well. Uh, so it's a great place to, to go unwind a little bit, let the, let the kiddos run and, and play on the playgrounds and big wide open spaces and just relax and have a, have a good time. Our next insider secret is the best place to get your caffeine fix. This is near, wow. near and dear to my heart because I am a, a coffee lover for sure. And our vote for that is going to a local insider secret there is going to be Hyperion Espresso, which is on Princess Anne Street, actually yep. at the corner of Princess Anne and William Street. I mean, probably, well, you said one of your favorites, but I know with my daughter living downtown, she visits it quite frequently because it's only not even a block from where she lives. So she raves about Hyperion. Yeah, it, you, you, you will, anytime you go by there, you're going to see a bunch of local people hanging out there and, and partaking of Hyperion. They have great coffee, lattes, all the, you know, all the, the specialty coffee drinks. The frou-frou. <laughs> the frou-frou drinks. <laughs> and they have wonderful pastries as well. So that's definitely some place you should check out once you get here to Fredericksburg. All right, our next insider secret is the best place to go for a night out. And honestly, we could talk about a lot of different places. But once you get to Fredericksburg, you're going to realize that one of the big things here is we, we like our breweries. We like our craft beer scene. We like wineries too. We have a lot of those. Uh, but right here in Fredericksburg, we have a lot of breweries, several breweries. A couple uh, specific ones come to mind, Adventure Brewing, and my personal favorite is Strange Ways. Uh, great place to go unwind, you know, have a, have a beer, try some different flavors that you've probably never tried. And on certain times, you can catch you know, different events happening there, sometimes some live music, food trucks show up. Just a great place to go and just spend a couple hours. If you don't have a couple hours, stop in for you know a flight, do a tasting of, of, of the craft beers. Um, yeah, it's really cool because several of the wineries, once the weather turns and we get back into um, really nice, warm, warmer temperatures than the wineries, they do. They also have, will have the music and you can just throw a blanket out on the lawn and it's really relaxing, a relaxing time. They do it a lot on the weekends, on Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah, so I guess tag teaming with that, I would say my favorite winery is going to be uh, Wilderness Run out toward Locust Grove favorite brewery is going to be strange ways here in Fredericksburg. Another insider secret is the best historical site to visit. <laughs> now this one, we are in one of the most historic cities in the United States. So yeah, how do you pick one for this? But there are some things that people just don't know about until they go. Uh, and that is the, the Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania National Battlefield, National Battlefield Parks have some fabulous walking trails and hiking trails and and history all along the way. You can go out to the Spotsylvania battlefield and start walking and you could easily spend a couple of hours just walking on that trail, stopping and reading about the different battles and how they took place. And, and I guarantee you, you're going to find some things you're like, wow, I never expected to see that here, or I didn't know that happened here. 
Uh, so that's going to be our vote for the best historical site to visit is the Battlefield Parks. So one of the best events to um, attend here in Fredericksburg is the fair, the Fredericksburg Fair. Um, it's off of Route 2, comes around once a year, and um, it's a, I mean, I guess pretty packed event. I mean, a lot of people attend it. Um, they seem to have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's uh, late July, early August is, the, uh, is when the fair rolls into town. And I grew up in a small farming community and the county fair was the event of the year. And uh, it doesn't quite have the same impact here in Fredericksburg, but it's still a very popular event. Mm -hmm. And you still get all the nuances of a good old fashioned county fair. Uh, so I would definitely mark your calendar to attend the Fredericksburg Fair if you happen to be here by the end of July. All right, so this was really kind of a kind of a fun video to do. If you are moving here, these are 10 insider secrets that when you get here, you want to check out. Some of them you may not like, some of them you may become personal favorites for you, just like they, they have for us and a lot of other locals as well. Um, Again, we are local real estate agents. If you have any questions about living, working, playing here, about this video, real estate in general, call our Texas. We'd love to get those calls and we will get right back to you and we will see you in the next video.